Hey guys, I'm Wolfie. And I'm the dude. We have a bunch of special guests today. Hi, I'm Luna. Hi, I'm Walter. Okay, and we have Wizard also today. And we just finished up a batch of polished rocks. We have a lot of locally collected rocks. That's everything that's here in front. We have um, some Brazilian agates, some Bahia agates, some Botswana agates, all the bees. And we have crazy lace up here and haunted ridge and some sodalite left over. Yeah, and one piece of petrified wood yep. that I put in the batch. And let's look at some of our favorites. Here, I can show it. What do you want to say about it? Anything? It has white. It has white, yeah. All this white on it. That's pretty cool. That's some that of the leftover. Dot on the bottom. Yeah, the dot. The little crystal pocket in the center. Yeah. It's got a little bit of husk left on the outside. That's how I like. That's what you like. Why you like it? Yeah. You want to show the other one? Petrified wood. Yes. Good job. Petrified wood. And why do you like it? Because it has stripes. You like the stripes. It looks like wood grain, doesn't it? Yeah. It's pretty cool. I like it too. Yeah, and it has brown. And it has brown? Yeah. And I also hugged it. You also hugged it? <laughs> and we didn't polish that one until it was smooth. We wanted to leave some of that wood grain in that rock. Yeah, all these ridges right here. Um, I like this one because it has stripes. You like the stripes? Yeah, those are cool. Do you know what kind of rock that is? Oh, what? I forgot. It's a Botswana agate. How do you like that one? Because it looks like a triangle. Oh, yeah. Or like a yeah. top of a house. I think this is a locally collected one that we got. I was, I was looking at that one. It's this pretty. looks like a fish. A cutting fish. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to show the one with your flashlight? Oh, you're going He's to show more. Sunset Soda Light. Sunset Soda Light? Yes, Soda Light. Put it right over the red rock. Yep. I like this one because it has blue, white, and a different color. The pinkish color? Yeah. Yeah. And then I got this. Farther. There you go. That's cool. I got this. I mean, I like this one because as like cracks and it can glow when you have a flashlight under it and i just got this at the beach today yep we found oh, some rocks at the beach nice. today and then i like this rock because of the stripes they're not a lot of stripes but they're like cool it looks like an eyeball i was gonna yes, say I that <laughs> <laughs> this is haunted ridge jacket and I like it because of the stripes and, I don't know. Patterns? Yeah. Patterns. Kind of looks like cloudy. I don't know how to describe it either. It has lots of little eyes. Yeah. So I had a couple rocks that didn't really turn out well. I'm not sure what that is. It might be a piece of granite. It might be a piece of porphyry. You can see that it undercut really badly. What did we decide porphyry is? It's like... It's like a feldspar within crystal. Some, yeah. Within some kind of host. The host isn't very polishable on this one. Not at all. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this one we thought might be an agate because it had that banding in there. It certainly is not. It didn't shine up. Maybe a piece of calcite. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, it's very matte. I just like this piece of haunted ridge. I mean, the top kind of freaks me out, but I like the sides of it. The haunted ridge didn't turn out too bad. Some of the larger crystals cut out of it. I mean, it kind of, you know, it's layered like a um, crust of the earth, I guess, on those science -y pictures. A lot of our locally collected material is simply chert, and it comes in a variety of browns, grays, whites. This piece was very, very white. Um, commonly, it shows like a little crust on the outside, this whiter stuff. It's a more solid color on the inside. Sometimes it would be banded. 
Yeah, occasionally it has a little bit of a pattern. That one pattern's not too bad on. Nothing really exciting. We also collected a lot of these when we first started uh, that last summer, so we didn't really know what we were looking for. But, you know, some of them turned out pretty, pretty cool, nice patterns. Like I think I one. showed that one when it came out of rough, the nice splotchy pattern it has on it. It took a pretty good shine. I assume it's some sort of jasper. Yeah. It might be Mary Ellen jasper. Oh. I'm not sure. Don't know what that is. This one's kind of cool. Looks um, like a flower agate, probably what it would be called. This little pattern is flowers. I really like the pattern on that. Yeah, it's pretty. Looks like I cut it in half. It has a flat side, but I'm not sure where the other half would be. It's not in this batch. <laughs> it's somewhere. And this one is kind of cool. It's got a lot of stripes. Kind of looks, I don't know what, it reminds me of tree branches. Yeah, it's almost kind of mossy. It looks like some of the green tree or green moss agate that we've tumbled. Maybe, but not green. Not at all. Yeah. This little guy. Very stripey. Kind of cool. Yeah. Again, I'm not sure what it is, but it did take a shine. It was locally collected. This one was also locally collected. It looks like it's something suspended in jelly. That is really neat. It's a cloudy little agate. I don't know where we got that from. It's a good find. Uh, this is Lake Superior agate that we actually found. Right? Correct? I believe so. And I'm not sure where we got it from. And we really didn't identify it as a Lake Superior until we put it through the polish. Yeah, you couldn't tell when it was rough. And you, you can see it's not any bigger than my thumbnail, so it's a tiny piece. This piece has a nice little stripe all the way around it. These are examples of our locally collected quartz, sometimes with a little bit of pink or red pattern in it. Nothing real exciting, but they shine up well. Just a few tailing pieces of bahia agates. We probably tumbled these a little bit longer because they have a flaw we were trying to get out like that one there. But at some point you gotta just send them on. They're not bad. These are Botswana agates. Um, they oftentimes have banding. Sometimes they have like a central eye. Like this one. That one's kind of neat. Sometimes the Botswana agates will show shadow banding. You'll be able to see it right there. Where at certain angles you can see right down into the bands, into the center of the rock. This is some of our crazy lace that's still coming through. I've shown the crazy lace before. It has a really neat, intricate little pattern. This one has some little crystal pockets we just couldn't get out of there. This one, you can really see why they call it crazy lace. You see that crazy pattern all the way through the rock. This is our haunted ridge agate we tried polishing. For the most part, it came out pretty good. The side looked nice. It looks nice there. A uh, little bit of pitting on the top and the bottom. Not too distracting. Took a nice shine. Some of the crystals undercut a little bit because they have these larger crystals in there. We've all decided to put a rock into the prize bucket. Um, the wizard chose a piece of Kambaba Jasper. That's a nice large piece of Kambaba. I chose this piece of Crazy Lace. And why'd you choose that? Um, the little holes in it, I think they look cool because there's like something that looks like that. It's little crystal pockets, isn't it? Yeah. It's a very nice piece. Walter? I chose this because when you shine it in the light, you can see like a little bit of rainbow. And when you put a light under it, there's a bunch of light coming out. Do you know what the rock is called? 
No. It's called Labradorite. Labradorite. And that goes in the prize bucket. And then we're going to throw in a couple nice pieces of geode. This one has a really nice crystal center. I don't know if our lighting's good enough you can see that. And this one's got botryoidal in the inside. So we're up to 88 subscribers, and we'll be giving this away soon. That's all we have for you today. So until next time, be happy, be kind, and make your home a safe place. Bye, Bye everyone.